what? And we're back here at Coca-Cola, and it's becoming really cloudy here. We're here for the first race of the second round of the chase, the World of Coke 550. Why 550? Because we want to. That we feel like it'd be a better mileage, better lap for better finishes at this track. I'm your host, Greg Knight Cole. Tyler Dable. And Tyler left over the starting line. I believe this is his uh, third pole. Third pole. Michael Gregory starts on front row in the Dodge Dealer Dodge Wall. And starting along the side will be Chaser Tyler Deaver in the DuPont Chevrolet. Next we have Morgan Griffin in the XR Batteries Ford and John, Mila, John Paralucci in the Jasper Ford. This is the car I'm, I was looking for, Eli Bright. This guy, ever since he decided to go yellow, he's um definitely doing well. Yes. So he will start fifth in the Pennzoil Oil Chevrolet, and one, this guy was eliminated last week. So the only thing you can do now is try and win. Javier Hernandez in the Blake Human Beers car. Uh, we have Kyle Martins in the low Chevrolet. Starting alongside... Richard we'll Kinghart in the Valvoline Pontiac. Next, we have another chaser, Leah Sutton in the Cat Truck Engines Dodge. He'll start along... She will start alongside Willie Boulderquake, another chaser in the Viagra Ford. You got teammates starting next to each other. Daniel Boyles in the Georgia Pacific Dodge and Biddy Johnson in the STP Dodge. Another one of the Chase. 12 survivors left, David Perry in the DeWalt Power Tool 4. Who will, came close to being eliminated last week. He will start alongside Matthew Medev in the Mobile One Dodge. This guy got eliminated last week. Uh, Colin McGovern in the Renner Center Ford will be starting alongside Ken Bell in the Stacker 2 Dodge. Zachary Fitzwater in the Altel Ford alongside the Rubbermaid Ford of Eric Heaton. John Gambit having some, uh, getting, not as bad as he was, but could you be doing better with his qualifying look. But he, but. He has not shown any speed in this chase, except for Chicago Land. I've not seen anything out of this team. I'm a little worried about this team. Actually. But, but then again, Tyler, if Chicago Land taught you anything, Gambit was in the back. And he still made it. Yeah. He So all it takes is one good run, and Gambit is proving that. He will be in the Kellogg Cornflake Chevrolet, starting alongside Josh Richard in the Interstate Battery Chevrolet. This guy was the point leader before the points reset. Um, Nate Bell in the Home Depot Coca-Cola Bear Pontiac will start alongside Jerry Paolucci, who has been doing really well as of late in the m and sport. A change of cars for Venna Williams, returning to her Sprite machine. I believe the last time she raced that, she won it. So, maybe some more luck for that. Anyway. I'd like to point out how there's three soda cars in these, this next two rows. Ryan Keats, your winner at Kansas? Yes. In the Code Red Chevrolet. Cold Eber and the... G this man pulled a comeback of the agent. Was dead last in point, faced imminent elimination, and what does he do at Twin Ring Motor Guy Tyler? Finishes second. And he will start alongside one of the few chasers that got eliminated, Matthew Crash. I believe this guy's still in the chase. Yes, he is. Aiden Shepard in the U.S. Army Pontiac. What's his point? What was his point for, at the elimination? Well, I'll get back to that in a minute. It'll be, he'll start alongside Jonathan, Jonathan King. King. Then you got Jordan Bell, Tyson, Tyson Gifford finally returning to the Crown Fiber Pontiac. Quentin Moore. In the Racing with Jesus Ford alongside the Toby. Tide Pontiac of Toby Bell. Uh, drivers, start your engines! That guy okay. was so unsure of himself. Zach McVeigh in the Napa Nilla Wafer Chevrolet alongside. One of the few, this guy was a favorite going into the chase with Stafford, he got eliminated last by like three. 
We have like three points. Yeah. Then we have Landon Martin and Ignis Kirksey. Dominique Anthony, Gabriel Wonderlay. So last last week. Press that. Boss is just gonna have to hard if they won't. Tyler, the the world of the it's the world of coke, right? Yes. Yeah. Possibly the final time. It all depends on how well they race today. Michael Gregory leads them going into the first turn. Let's see how long it'll take before Morgan Grimm works. And to answer your question about this, Connor, he has 1,086 points. But since we're in the second leg of the chase, and Eli Bryant is going three wide. But Morgan Grimm was in the middle, and that didn't work. How about, can we talk about that one team's improvement, even though it's late in the season? Hey, any improvement is better than none at all. But here comes our first chaser, Leah Sutton in here comes, fifth place. Here comes Perry! Talk about Perry! Perry Stemlitz. Perry nearly, yeah, you were saying, Perry nearly faced elimination last week. How about the... No, he was, no, he was, hey, no, well, he was six points. Yeah, he six. was one point above Tom Deaver and Leah Sutton. So, yeah, he was pretty close to elimination, so... Perry definitely looking... To improve, and he is definitely going for it. It's Kyle Martin takes the lead. Hey, here comes uh, Colin McGovern. Did I did I tell you how much Aiden Shepard had? Yeah, 1,086. Okay. Here That's, comes here comes Cole Deaver. Cole Deaver in that going to the GM Goodman Service Plus colors this week. Here comes Fitzwater, and here comes Vinnie Williams in that sport car. So David Perry. Hasn't had that much luck on the super speedway. And wait, there's a storyline that we have not talked about yet. What? The chaser has not won yet in the chase. This is very true. And with the field going down to 12 racers, that 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 the chance of that happening is even smaller. But as you can see, you got Zachary Fitzwater leading. Ben Williams in second, and Cole Deaver is coming on strong. Here comes Aiden Shepard. And look who's also there, Ryan Keith. And speaking of people, remember what I said about starting position? Because look who's coming. Yeah, but here comes Zach McVeigh, Mr. Restrictor Play this year, it seems like. Well, no, that'd be Landon Martin. Well, consider... Well... Landon and Zach didn't do well at the last restriction plate, which was the Pepsi 400 as he watched Paul Deaver get jumbled up high. Aiden Shepard now becoming the highest chaser, and Venna Williams definitely trying to hold on here because her luck, her luck has, has, played, has not been phenomenal. But Ryan Keith, uh, he, he couldn't make the change, honestly, I think because the fact that he missed the first three races hurt him, but he is coming on strong, and he's about to chug, chug a chug a choo choo his way past Venna Williams for the lead. Over in Cole Deaver with him. And look who's also there, Jordan Bell. No, he's going to get split in the middle. But the fact that that Oreo car finally can prove some power is, hey Tyler, as we can watch Keith lead this lap, see, see, see if where we can see if uh, Hayden Caldwell is uh, where his positioning is. We got to keep an eye on some of these chasers. Hayden Caldwell doing better, but he, oh, Leah Sutton dead last in danger of losing the draft. This is not what she needed, didn't she? Or no, that was Gregory. Pardon me, folks. Alan Deaver all the way back here. Now John Gannon going back. Same thing for Aiden Shepard. Oh my gosh, hold it. Up. Hold the phone. Four wide here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Eli Price going to let 
head bell by and squeeze on the bottom. Like maybe some of these chasers are like, you know what, let's hang at the back, hang at the back, let's just get to the, let's get to a certain point and, and let's go for it. And here's your defending winner of Coca-Cola, Mr. Landon Martin, who is in 20th spot. And we take a look and look like Ryan Keith is still leading, but here comes the Hendrix teammates of Dominique Anthony and Kyle Martin. Remember, it was and Dominique Anthony who dominated at Touring Modiga, Modigui. But a guy, but a geek, say he's still proving he's got power, but look who's also coming, Sean McKean, last week's winner. Showing that he, even though his year's been silly season, well, it can't really be a silly season. He got a win. Kyle Martin and Dominique Anthony, a, a fierce gender system. But Matthew Medev, winner of Chicago Land, he's sneaking his way to the top five. Ben Williams going down low. We're just gonna have to see what this race plays out. Alright. We as you see in the back, Ignis Kurtzy going on the bottom of Jordan Bell. Or no, uh Who's our highest chaser as of right now? It would be Landon? Uh shuffling through the field, it would yes, it would be Landon Martin, but Alex Bossinger is right there. And so is Zach McVay. So right now, it is a battle for the highest chase spot. Which and right now, Zach McVay is about to take that spot. So, about 12th spot, you can see Cole Deaver, he was either on the high lane or the middle lane. He was back, getting something back, and not far back from this is Willie Boulderquake and Tyler Deaver. And Alex Bossinger as well. Let's take a look at Deaver. Willie, Willie, Willie! What about Willie? Oh, he got in the middle there. Trying to get low. Trying to get low. Perry all the way back here at 31st. How about Nate Bell back there? Old Deaver falling back there. So Lewis Sutton is still dead last. John Gambit falling back, but so is Hayden Caldwell. Leah Sutton, there, there might be something wrong with that car, because it, it seems like it's having a hard time keeping up with the draft. But we go back to the lead, folks. Benna Williams is proving she has a strong car, but she's got Ryan Keith on her backside and Ignis Kirksey coming double time. And here comes Fitzwater. Fitzwater as well. I think now Boulder Quake holds the position as high as Chaser. And we go and we circle our way back here. Boulder Quake is battling for the tenth spot. And Tyler Deaver is not far behind. Whoa! Dominique Anthony about came down on Ken Bell. Hannah Williams still leading, but John Paolucci is trying to create a freight train here on the bottom. Fitzwater goes past Kirksey. Now Fitzwater trying to trying to get a good finish in but just barely missed the chase so Fitzwater's working double time. He wants to prove that he can still race. And it, here we go. Fitzwater to, to the point. We take a look here. Then or Leah Sutton have gotten around Eli Bryant, but Eli Bryant may be hanging in the back. I'm talking about your strategy here as Willie Bowler Quake to third. Who's the next highest chaser of the game? That, that honor goes to David Perry and then Landon Martin. And then Zach McVeigh and then Tyler Deaver and Nate Bell all scrunched right there together. Old Deaver and Aiden Shepard aren't too far back from that either. There's Gambit. We're having some good racing here in the world of Coke 500. That's Zachary Fitzwater. Trying to hold off everyone. Here comes Javier Hernandez. John Paolucci. He's one of those few drivers that he was very high in the points. He just needed a win to get into the chase. And we got three wide. Okay, it looked like they backed out of it. It was about to be a three wide situation. And now Perry holds the position as high chaser. Landon Martin giving him a shot. John Paolucci to bottom. 
Still, Zachary Fitz watered a point. Now, Landon Martin to the inside of David Perry with Kyle Martin right behind him. Nate Bell going under Zach McMahon. Three wide situation here with Jonathan King Venna. New leader, John Paolucci. John Paolucci does take the lead. Here comes Landon Martin looking to defend his throne at Coca-Cola. That 31, man. Don't count that, don't count that 29 out. Jordan Bell going to the bottom. Two tickets are going to drag the teammates with them. And he's also... So now, and here comes... Perry can get a full head of steam. He'll reclaim spot of the highest chaser, but Nate Bell is right there, and we got a new leader in Jordan Bell, and here comes Kyle Martin, here comes Gambit and Cole Deaver, Cole Deaver, Cole Deaver just can't we go back here in three car, he was just bobbing and weaving, oh, like a butterfly, seems like a beaver, Cole Deaver's going to dive to the bottom. Let's circle back here. We see Willie Boulder quaking 16 and Hayden Caldwell fighting his way to 17. Who's the lowest chaser? I don't know. But you got a three way chase train between Aiden McVay and Tyler Deaver. And we circle along back here. Michael Gregory of Polster. Where's like Leah Sutton? Their pull center is all the way back to 27. Whoa! We have fun! Let's take a look. There is something, there is something wrong with that 22 Capsule Dodge. Tyler, um... Tyler, interrupt. Next, next time, can you let us know before you... I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, she just lost the pack. Oh! Eli Bright! Upside down, Matthew Medev, any chasers involved? I don't think so. Shaman did Shaman Keen have damage on his hood? I can't tell. Go on board. No. He is clean. So go back to our TV cam, camera crew, fly. Let's cycle through the field. This is a much needed break for Leah Sutton. So, who, Matthew Crash is your current leader. Alright, wanna go Well, down? let's let's take a look and see if there's any pit stops. Yeah, Eli Bright pretty much done. Went more getting damage on his left side. Alright, Tyler, go to uh go to Matthew Crash so we can see what's gonna happen here for pit stops. Alright, any takers? We have takers. You can see the pack all rushing to catch up. So let's see who's going to come out our biggest winner and our biggest loser out on pit road. We're going to keep it on Matthew Crash because he did come out, come in first. Oh, Zach McVeigh! What happened? He's got some bad nose damage. Oh! Serious nose damage is at 15. Did he just get it or did he have it? I'm not sure. Does the 24 have some back damage? Hold on. Let's uh. All right. So Matthew Crash is gonna come out in first place, followed by Landon Martin, Alex Bossinger, Nate Bell, Toby Bell, Willie Boulder Quake, Dummy Anthony. David Perry, Elijah Gordon, well, what's going on? I have no idea what's going on anymore. So 
Melody, we're trying to get some. Oh, Matthew Madame getting his car repaired. I take a look at you. Something's wrong. Something might be wrong with Tyler Lever. I thought he had some rear end damage there. I don't think he does. I thought he had a little rear end back with a little front stuff, but it didn't look like obvious, but it looked a little bent. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Jerry Palucci. All right, so by the way. First, as Zach McVeigh has officially retired, what the heck happened to his car? Oh, oh! He was trying to catch back up and crunches in the ooh. Hayden Caldwell, I busted the radiator there on that machine. No, Hayden Caldwell gets rear end damage. And Zach McVay definitely. Oh! That was not what he needed. Alright, wanna take a look back what brought us under our first caution? We're gonna have. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so here we go. Play this thing in real time. Oh! Up here, Eli Bryce gonna have nowhere to go as Matthew Madev just slams into him. He, he's just gonna come to a stop. We're gonna see what happened here with Tyler Deaver. So, whoa! So, Tyler's literally gonna get sandwiched in between these two cars. Oh, jeez. He did get some rear end damage. Let's take a look. Who, who's the other perspective we need to look at? Ken Bell, maybe? Alright, so. So. As you can see, he's. There's Jerry Palucci. He just hits Tyler Deaver and then. Colin McGovern spins him out. And, and then they're all just checking up and Eli Bright just goes for the wild ride. Take a look at Jerry Palucci with his perspective was and he did hit Quentin Moore there. Question is, who all who's all damaged? Jerry Palucci there goes for a spin. At least it's not Talladega, because otherwise that car would be on its roof. Uh, I see right up there. Oh, gee, Jerry Palucci got some rear end damage. So we'll have to see because our chaser, because one of the chasers was involved, Tyler Deaver, so we're going to have to come back. So when we get the restart, we're going to have to go look and see if he will be okay to get out of this mess. So Zach McVay is one of the only... He is so far one of the only casualties as King Hart, Ken Bell, Zach McVay, and Eli Bright retire. Do you think the 24 can keep up? Hold on. Better before we analyze 24. Let's check the two because he did take a plowing from uh, Zach McVeigh. Yep, there it is. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to see if the two car can keep up, even though it is only rear end damage. Hold on. Go to the three right quick. I gotta point this out. Look at that. Hit Childress freight train. We got Yeah, we're missing Elijah, but still, that is a It was three... actually in front of you. It was actually in front of you by oddly enough three cars. Well, in front of that freight train. Yeah. Technically four counts. Yeah. It takes three cars. If the children's cars wanna hook up, they gotta get past three cars to get to Elijah. But, as you can see, Payne's car is about to dip off of Pit Road. Matthew Crash is going to leave them to the line after a wild ride for Eli Bright. Green flag! Alright, so Matthew Crash. Whoa, 
Oh, the lag drop. Tyler Deaver looks like he's doing all he can to hang on. Pardon the sudden frame rate drop, people. We have no idea what's going on here in the studio. And they fell to the point. Nate Bell takes your lead, and then it's a three-way fight for the lead between, for Chase, between Earthquake Land well, and that, Nate it, Bell, but now they're on the outside, and that's going to allow John Gambit to start his climb. Let's check on the other Chase. Aiden Caldwell, yeah, he is, he had to, well, he's still keeping up, wait, Leah Sutton and Tyler Deaver, quite more. Yeah, so Tyler, there is something wrong with Leah Sutton's car because she is not keeping up here at Coca Cola. And we take it back to the lead, and it's not John Palucci, it is Toby Bell. I did not see you all. Okay, Colt Deaver fell back to 24. I did not see him. Alright, so go back to uh, Tony Bell. We John Gambit! Oh, Gambit! You might have to, uh, might have to lean a couple of things up in the hard drive. Yeah, probably a couple of videos and stuff. Some Maybe old, some old documents. Or yeah, or probably old recordings of our series and whatnot. Anyway. Back to the racing, John Gambit currently holds the title of highest chaser, but that's there. probably going to be Nate Bell here within a couple of seconds. And Jordan Bell gets second. I look, why are the Bell Boys doing well here? Except for Ken. Yeah, except for Ken, because he's out. He got, I think he got spun for a loop, but not as much as Jerry Palucci. I think where Jared Palucci is right now. Is he, is he even keeping up? Ah, uh, yeah, he, he's stuck in the bag. So it's gonna be Toby Bell and Jonathan King. And here comes Aiden Shepard. Right there behind Zachary Fitzwater. Benno Williams trying to come back. And here comes Johnson King for the lead. What's that for 42 21? We missed the halfway point, so we've got a couple more races. A couple more. We got a lot more laps to go here, ladies and gentlemen. Johnson King takes the lead. Aiden Shepard in second, Benna Williams third. Aiden Shepard got into the chase by winning the second Pocono race and barely avoided. Well, he was a good chunk away from elimination, so he's hoping to muscle his way even further into the second round of the chase. Or clinch his spot or event for the round of eight. He would become the first chaser to win a race, but he's got to deal with Benna Williams, and here come the hard charging Nate Bell. Nate Bell and Eden Shepard dueling for the lead. We cycle through the field. Aiden Caldwell is way back there in 30 seconds spot. I don't think he's going any further. Bossinger having problems keeping up as Landon Martin's being cycled through and here comes oh, whoa! Oh, yeah! Is it just me or did that eight car just shoot up there? We're under caution. Yep, eight car said we're under caution. 
What the flim flam happened? Alright, did he get the 83? Yeah, oh! oh! Oh, geez! That's the second DEI car that went for a flip! And you want, you want to talk about a hairy situation? Watch Boyle! Like, watch Boyle through that wreck! He's like right behind him. Oh! Look, look how much he got past that by a nose! You know what we gotta do now? Put that, put Boyle's on the onboard camera! Alright, on board the Georgia Pacific Dodge with Daniel Boyle. This is going to be a good end. Whoa! You said I might need a change of pants. And then maybe a new seat. As Daniel Boyle will cross the line in 27. Did we have to stop where we're away? No, we didn't. Meanwhile, everyone's trying to catch up. So, we've already had... I think Coca-Cola is trying to redeem itself after the first race. Alright, we're going to take a commercial break. And be back for the one to go. What do you think of Coca-Cola trying to redeem itself? Stop, 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 stop. Here you go. Get a little bit of gas. Okay, they're in charge now. And we're here, folks, for the one to go as Aiden Shepard leads Nate Bell. And then you got Jonathan King in third. Fourth is Morgan Grimbler, and fifth is Toby Bell. Alright, so... Alright, so we're back here with the one to go, and... For our top five breakdown, you have Aiden Shepard, Nate Bell, Jonathan King, Morgan Grimpler, Toby Bell. Then you got Ben Williams in sixth, seventh place Matthew Crash, eighth Willie Boulderquake, ninth Cole Deaver, and tenth place Ryan Keith. And we're about to not turn it on Ignis Kersey. We are about to go green flag. And we get racing with ten laps to go. Gotta go big or go home, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be, it looks like it's gonna be between Nate Bell, Jonathan King, and Aiden Shepard. Don't count that 99 out. Like you said, there goes the 99. It's gonna try, 31 is gonna try and throw a block. But, 31, but the 99 Oh, that cost Nate Bell! Now Nate Bell's going backwards. Willie Boulderquake assumes the spot of highest No, Aiden Shepard. Oh, wait, never mind. You're right. Sorry. It's Aiden Shepard still, but Willie Boulderquake is charging. And don't look now. Here comes a black three car. But Zachary Fitzwater, I think, is might be under him now. Nope. It's war following Cole. Here comes Willie. Here comes Willie Boulder Quake. Now Fitzwater goes under the three car. Three wide. I don't like it. Oh jeez, no. Fitzwater couldn't handle. Couldn't get there. Here comes Jenna Williams. She's got the strongest car, I think. She, yeah, she, she and Coca Cola seem to get along. Well, I can't remember where she finished last time, but right now it's gonna be Aiden Shepard. Leading as Ben Williams ducks behind the bagger car. They all go high. Zachary Fitzwater under Cole Deaver. 
Here comes Jordan Bell. Here Dunn. comes Landon Martin. And John Gambit. Let's take a look at the back and take a look. Um, Matthew Bedev, Colin McGovern, Gary Palucci. Well, um, at least Leah Sutton keeping up with the car, but it's a four car pack between Tyler, well, five if you count Kyle Martin. I think he lost the draft. Oh, uh, that shows that a 24 right now would not be, would not be in the bottom four. Not so surprised. But look, looky here, Ben yeah. Williams to the lead. And he, Cole Deaver going to get shuffled back. How far will he go? Here come eight shepherds back. He wants the lead. Don't count out that 29. Jordan Bell. And you got two teammates right there. Dominique and Gambit, weren't they? No, they were the teammates. There comes Aiden Shepard. Cole Deaver is not where he needs to be. He is going backwards. Same thing for Gambit. Gambit, Harry, got a bunch of chasers all on the outside. Now, get, now Gambit's going backwards. Cole Deaver with David Perry trying to hook up with something. It is all Aiden Shepard right now coming to... Well, we got our very first chaser to oh. win. We have... Uh, you see, coming to five laps to go. And Aiden Shepard is checked out. Here comes Landon Morton. So right now, it is a three... The top three are all chasers. Le well, okay, never mind. Lynn Martin cannot get behind, cannot get past Ben Williams. It is right now. It is right now. Aiden Shepard and Willie Boulderquake. But don't look now. Here comes the five car of John Gambit and David Perry, who was on the high side a couple of laps ago. Does anybody have anything? The only car. I think has a shot at that at that old is that car right there. The seven car Venna Williams, one of the strongest cars all race long. Look who's got back to the bottom, the three car. And what? A, and now you. The bottom. I I lost. Hey, oh. we got a pack back here, but Alex Boffinger. He hit the wall. That's why he can't keep up. Yeah. So Alex Bostigner, unlike his car, he will not strike cold today. Quentin Moore's in 34th and he got 35th, 36th. Call him cover. Has to be dead all the way back here. Gambit! John Gambit to the lead! Wasn't that you were saying about the seven car being the only one to challenge the old one? Well, I'm just saying. Hold on, look at that, Tyler. Only the seven car, like the first. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six cars are right there, and they're all chasers. Not including the seven. Here comes the seven. Three laps to go. They're coming to take two to go. Who's in the best spot? Perry. Perry. <laughs> Oh, the, the John Gambit fourth block on Ben Williams. But ben has got a strong race car. Coming to two laps to go. Yeah, Gambit finished like, what, third hit? Like, fourth, fifth, something like that? He, he's trying to redeem himself after that first round of... Well, he did finish on Chicago land, but the other two races weren't really his shtick. Jonathan King! Here, Here comes Venna Williams! Did she make her move too early? Can't, who's gonna go with her? Nate Bell! Here comes Jonathan King! Trying to make it three wide! Gambit still holds strong! Here comes Venna Williams! Here comes Dominic Anthony! And don't look now! Aiden Shepard is coming back! White flag in the air! Look who's behind Aiden! No! Landon, oh. but he went back behind Nate Bell. One left to go. Jonathan King, who has been upset in many a time. Can, will he strike gold today? Oh, it up. Here he comes to the bottom. Here comes Aiden Shepard. 
Are they gonna catch that lap car? Here comes Gambit! Gambit on the inside! Does Dominic Gambit have anything left? Jonathan King will finally hit gold! Jonathan King will win the World of Coke 550! Tyler, what do you what do you say to that about Coca-Cola? It was better! Better than the first time! So Jonathan King! It was he wasn't in the chase, but he still gets the finish strong. Uh, uh, the fourth straight non-chaser to win in this chase. The singular wireless Chevrolet finally gets gold. How many times was he robbed of gold Pocono Wear Out? Really Pocono, he was really robbed. Didn't he have a good car at a short track? Oh! oh! Hi, Palucci! Hi! Put put on Palucci! Um, we're gonna have to look at that on the highlight reel. Yeah, actually, let's go to that. While everyone's coming on pit road, let's see what the heck happened. Okay, so as you can see, they're slowing up. Oh, Wanderlei just got in. I the think Wanderlei was trying to get. He was going to take the extra lap, the cool, the extra cooldown lap. But then just that happened. So, well, that happened. All right, Tyler. We're gonna break down the let break down our finishing lineup as I get our points ready. All right, so in first place, Jonathan King. Congratulations to that team for finally getting gold. It was, they could they won't be able to get a championship, but like you say, improve imp, improvement late season is better than no improvement at all. Dominic Anthony in second. Another time. They they just can't seem to win. How about that uh, John Gambit in third? So John Gambit, your highest point chaser. And just so you know, everyone has two. Since we're in the second leg of the chase, everyone, all the chasers are going to start with 2,000 points. So if we're using all our format here. Uh, how many points does uh, he get? 41. So, third place being 41. So, John Gambit currently, currently leads the points with 2,000 and... You said 41? Mm -hmm. Alright, 2,041. Well, and then Aiden Shepard and Landon Martin finished right behind Gambit. So, Aiden Shepard with 2,040. And then Landon Martin with 2,039. Then what? Well, Morgan Grandpoint finished sixth, seventh. Well, uh, Tyson. Morgan, oh, okay, you're breaking down the field. I'm sorry. Tyson Gifford, seventh, eighth. Jordan Anderson, ninth. Benno Williams, tenth. Is uh, Nate Bell. So how many points will he get? Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Mm-hmm. Okay, so 34 points for Nate Bell. Then 33 for Perry. Perry and 32 he's right for, behind. And 32 for Boulder Quake. 32 for Boulder Quake. Uh, not 22, 32. All right. Next up Betty, on the list. Betty Johnson finished 13th, 14th Ryan Keyes, 15th Eric Keaton, 16th Ma Michael Gregory, 17th Matthew Crash, 18th. Josh Richards, 19th, Jordan Bell, 20th, Cole Deaver, so he will get 24 points. 24 points mm -hmm. for, for the three car. Alright, next. Um, next, Zachary Fitzwater, Fitzwater finishes 21st, 22nd, Elijah Gordon, 23rd, Toby Bell, 24th, John Palalucci, 25th, Gabriel Wanderley. After spinning out, John Palalucci. 26th, Sean McKean, 27th. Daniel Voiles, 28. Uh, Tyler Deaver, uh, 16 points for Tyler Deaver. 
16 points for T. Deaver. Um, where is T. Deaver? All right, 16 points. Hey, you get our current year, 2016. Is that an omen to things to come? No. Um, 14 points will go to Leah Sutton. Yeah, there, there might have been something wrong with that car because she was not competing all day. And she usually does well at restrictor plates. Alex Bossinger gets uh, 12 points. 12 points for Alex Bossinger. Wait, wait, 12 points. So, 2012. Peyton Caldwell gets 11 points. 2011. And Zach McVeigh gets three points. So, so right now, your current point stands are John Gambit in first with 2,041. Then Aiden Shepard and Landon Martin right behind them. Aiden Shepard will have 2,040. Landon Martin, 2,039. So there's your top four. Then fifth. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. You said top four. Oh, wait. Gambit, Shepard, Martin, and then... Boulder, great. Boulder. No. Nate, yeah. No, it was Nate Bell. I Nate Bell. Daggummit. Nate Bell, and then Perry, and then it's Perry... Boulder, Quake. And, uh... Then Cole. And then Tyler. Then Tyler, and then your last four include Leah... Aiden, Bossigner, Bossigner, and Zach. So right now, Zach, Bossigner, Zach, Bossigner, who was it called? Zach, Bossigner, uh, Zach, Bossigner, Leah, and Hayden. They need to, they need to do well coming into the next race. Where will we be heading? Bristol. We're heading to Bristol for some nighttime racing, folks. We will see you then. This has been a production of the NASCAR Wheaties Cup. I'm your host, Dragonite Cole. I'm Tyler Deaver. Signing out. Hit the done button. So how was that for the World of Coke 550? I'd say if it does that, then it deserves at least